So what is a patent? This video is going to explain what patents are, what patents protect, and how you can get one for yourself. If you have ideas and inventions that you want to protect, this video is going to give you the basics of how patents can help you do this. So for those of you who are new here, my name is Dylan Adams. I'm a patent attorney and author, and I help clients of all sizes protect their ideas and inventions from Fortune 100 companies to Shark Tank winners to successful startups. You may also be familiar with my best-selling book, Patents Demystified, which uh, is used by inventors, entrepreneurs, and startups worldwide, including at top universities like Harvard, Stanford, and MIT. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content on patents and startups, and hit that little bell icon so you get notifications of when new videos come out. All right, let's jump right into it. Simply put, a patent is a limited monopoly granted by the government that allows the owner of the patent to exclude others from making, using, selling, offering to sell, or importing the patent invention within the bounds of the United States or whatever country has, has issued that patent. All right, so let's break that down. Now, one of the important things to note about patents is that they are a negative right. And what I mean by that is it doesn't give you the right to actually do something, okay? Let me say that again. So patents don't actually confer a right to do something. You get to exclude others from doing certain things. And specifically that is making, using, selling, offering to sell, importing uh, the claimed invention or the patented invention within the bounds of the, the country that granted the patent, okay? So let me give you an example. So um, let's say you have a patented drug and you have patented the drug for um, um, you know, cancer, right? You know, treating cancer. So you would be able to exclude other people from, uh, from using that, but at the same time, doesn't, the patent doesn't give you a right to actually do that. You have to have FDA approval and probably all sorts of other government approvals before you can actually perform that patented method. So again, patents are a, a negative right. Um, so one thing that I kind of mentioned is patents are only uh, valid and enforceable within specific countries. So a U.S. patent is only valid within uh, the bounds of the United States. You can protect uh, folks from importing uh, things into the United States, but if people were to use things outside of the United States, say in China, where, where products are manufactured, you would need a Chinese patent to stop those, those, sort, of, those, those sort of activities. Um, so uh, also, you know, you want to think about uh, the term of patents. They, they, they are limited. It's not a, an, in, you know, an indefinite kind of thing where you can uh, extend the term. Patents are going to have a lifetime of about 20 years or so. Um, so, you know, patents are, like I said, a limited monopoly. Gives you about 20 years or so to have exclusivity, have a, have a, a, a monopoly, be able to exclude others from, again, making, using, selling, offering to sell, importing uh, your patented product uh, or process within the bounds of the United States, for instance. Okay, so what kind of things can be patented? Now, patents, I guess, I guess a step back, patents are a form of intellectual property, and some people will call it IP, right? So. The, the four main types of IP are patents, trademarks, copyrights, and trade secrets. Patents are just one of those things. Patents cover and protect utilitarian uh, inventions, whereas copyrights protect artistic works. Trademarks are going to protect very different things um, th th than these sort of inventions. They're going to protect logos, uh, business slogans, product names, business names, things like that. Things that differentiate the goods and service of, the services of one company from those of another. Um, so we would call them like differentiating marks. So, you know, it could be uh, like the Nike swoosh or just do it uh, for Nike. Those would be uh, trademark names. Um, so those are different sorts of uh, uh, of intellectual property. Trade secrets, um, that's sort of a general blanket uh, type of intellectual property that uh, allows things that are kept secret that have value to, uh, to, to be protected. And if people misappropriate your trade secrets, um, there can be damages for those things. But so for patents, patents are going to focus on utilitarian inventions. And there are two main things that patents protect. One is going to be physical things, systems, and then it's also going to be methods. So a method of, say, manufacturing a product, a method of using a product, um, a, uh, you know, the, the steps that a computer takes in the software, the, 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 the system or the, uh, the method that the computer performs, that could be a, uh, a protected method. 
So those are kind of the, the things that, uh, that, that patents protect. So to give you some examples of some specific things that could be covered by patents. So a lot of computer technology, whether it's computer hardware, computer software, apps, uh, websites, those, th those sort of functionalities, those sort of things, they can be protected by patents. Also physical products, consumer products. You may see that a lot of those things that are patented or they're patent pending, um, those things are uh, protected by patents. Biotechnology, uh, things like drugs, um, methods of manufacturing products, all those are the kind of things that are uh, going to be protected by patents. Okay, so as I kind of mentioned previously, keep in mind that patents are only valid within a, uh, a certain jurisdiction. So for uh, most, of, m most of the audience, um, we're going to be talking about U.S. patents. And so you file a patent application at the United States Patent and Trademark Office, and assuming it meets the requirements for patentability, the, the patent will be granted. So to give you the basics of what the examination process is like, you file a, a non-provisional patent application at the USPTO. Uh, it waits in line for about one to three years until examination begins. And then you have a negotiation with the examiner where first the examiner is going to do a prior art search and determine whether the invention as claimed is new and non-obvious compared, compared to the prior art. If it is, uh, the, uh, the, the application is allowed and then it will subs subsequently issue as a patent. So in summary, Patents are a limited monopoly granted by the government that allows the patent owner to exclude others from making, using, selling, offering to sell, or importing the patented invention within the bounds of the United States. Uh, again, it's a negative right. It only allows you to exclude others from doing things. It doesn't actually let you uh, give you the right to actually do stuff. The term is limited. It's going to be about 20 years or so. Um, and one of the main requirements of getting a patent issued is that it has to be new and non-obvious compared to prior art. That being all sorts of technology that has existed, technology disclosures, um, things like that. And that is determined by a patent examiner at the USPTO. All right, so that's what patents are and what patents aren't and uh, how you can potentially get a patent of your own. Uh, hope you liked the video and thanks for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give it a big old thumbs up down below and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more great content on patents and startups. Hit that little bell icon so you get notifications of when new videos are coming out. Um, and I would love to hear what your, what your thoughts are down in the comments. Um, do you have any ideas for other patent videos? Do you have any questions? Did everything here make sense? Are there other questions that you have that kind of were raised uh, by this video? Let me know uh, down in the comments. I uh, would love to hear, hear from you. So uh, again, Thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you again in the next video.